Hi, my name is Serge and I work on Adobe's developer evangelism team. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about how easy it is to build applications using the Flex framework. Now, if you're brand new to the Flex framework, um, the Flex framework actually allows you to quickly build applications on top of the Flash platform. And Flash Builder is the tool that makes it very easy for you to build those types of applications. Now, the first time you open up Flash Builder, you'll actually see that there's a, a bunch of uh, info on this start page. You have a ton of um, uh, tutorials that you can go to, but there's also a link to an application called Tour de Flex. Now, in Tour de Flex, you can find a bunch of code samples that'll just tell you how to use a specific component or talk to a specific web service or something like that. But let's just start building a very simple application here. I'm going to create a new Flex project like that, and uh, it'll ask you where you want to run this application. Do you run it um, on the web using Flash Player, or do you want to build a desktop application using Adobe Air? Now, in this case, I just want to build a web app, so uh, I'll just leave it like that. And I'll call this Adobe Evangelists Web, and then click Finish. Now, the first thing you probably want to do is go into design view and actually just quickly look at all the components that are available to you in the component library. So if we uh, just quickly scroll through them, you see things like buttons, data grids, uh, images, um, but also layout components that make it easy to quickly lay out a bunch of components into, for instance, a panel or something like that. And then also navigational components like a button bar and a menu bar and tabs. Uh, and also charting components, um, which are a little bit more advanced than what you would, uh, or what we're going to use uh, in this example. Now, what I want to do is actually load in an XML file and just display that in a data grid. Very simple application, and that's actually what we want to do uh, right now. So let me just quickly show you the XML file that we want to use. So this is on adobeevangelists.com. We actually have an XML file with all the evangelists that work for Adobe and what they do and, and where they are on, on, on the web, where they are on Twitter and things like that. So this information I want to load in and then do something with that later on. So I'm going to need the URL for that XML file that I just uh, copied here. Now, I do uh, just quickly want to jump into code view because what I want to set up is actually an HTTP service. Now, with an HTTP service, you can load in data coming from the web. Um, it can be just a text file or, in this case, an XML file. So that's what we're going to use. So I'll set up a new HTTP service component. And you actually do that uh, in the declarations um, uh, tag so uh, Flash Builder knows where, where, where this is. And I'll call this my XML, and I'll, I'll uh, define the URL to be the URL that we just copied from the browser, just like that. Now, uh, let's just jump back into design view. I'm actually going to use uh, a little button here. And like I said, I'm also going to use a data grid to display the data coming back from that XML file. And you see that in the design view, you can just lay out your application um, like you want it. And I'll call this button, I'll give that a, a different label, I'll just say get data or something like that. Now, in my source view, um, whenever I click on this button, I actually want to fire off the uh, HTTP service call. So I'm going to create a little click handler. Uh, and it's very easy to do that in Flash Builder 4.5. You just hit enter, and then you can automatically generate a new click handler uh, just like that. And I'll give this a name as well. I'll call this, uh, let's see, um, get data instead of you know just button click. And in here, I'm going to say uh, myxml.send. I just want to send off that HTTP service call, and then it's going to come back with uh, data from that. Now, what I could do is on my HTTP service component, I could actually add a result handler like that. So whenever a result comes back, this function will be uh, firing off. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a feature called data binding. And this is, this is very powerful and very cool uh, to use when you build applications like this. So what I'm going to do is in my data grid, I'm actually get, going to get rid of all this um, dummy data and the uh, columns here, because I'm, I'm just going to quickly say that the data provider for this data grid is going to be whatever comes back from that XML service call. 
So I'll say uh, data provider is going to be my XML dot last result. So whatever comes back from the server, and then I'm going to say evangelists dot evangelist, and that actually refers to these nodes in my XML file here. And that should be enough. Um, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this requested row count as well because we just want to display all the data that comes back from this uh, XML file. Now if we launch this, and when we click on the button, it should hopefully, you never know, uh, we work with code here. So when we click on the get data button, it should get the XML file and then the data grid should show all the data that comes back. So let's do that. And there we go. We have the biography, the job title, location, name, uh, and everything that was in that XML file is now ready to be used in the application. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea on how easy it is to build web applications um, with Flash Builder and with the Flex framework. Um, check out the Adobe Developer Connection for more information, and I'll see you next time.